It's Friday, July 7th, and Tesla's EV for everyone. The Model 3 is set to begin production, according to tweets from Elon Musk, and he's expecting to complete SN1 today. Tesla plans on delivering the first 30 cars at a handover party near the end of this month and ramp up production quickly after that. In August, the company hopes to build 100 Model 3s, followed by 1,500 in September and reach 20,000 a month by the end of the year. The Model 3 is Tesla's first mass market car with a sub $30,000 price tag after clean energy incentives. Over 400,000 people have pre-ordered the car, so anticipation is running high. And if you were to order one today, Tesla estimates you wouldn't see your new car until this time next year. Here's some good news for Halo fans who are still holding on to one of the Xbox 360 versions of the game. By the end of this year, four older games from the franchise will be playable on the Xbox One. Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary, Halo 3, Halo 3 ODST, and Halo 4 are all set to be supported on Xbox One over the coming months. That means you will be able to play Xbox 360 discs and digital copies will be added to the Xbox Store. What's more, every DLC map pack for each of the four games games will be available for free. The big question here though is, are we going to see our first glimpse of Halo 6 anytime soon? Well, maybe this attempt to reignite interest in the series is a sign of bigger things to come. Japan's largest train stations are complex mazes of passageways that baffle a beleaguer with every corner turned. So to help confused travelers, Japan Railways is planning to build an army of robots to help them find their way. These guidance robots will help passengers navigate the station and even carry luggage. When not helping passengers, the bots will help keep the stations clean and perform security functions. It's not clear how long it will be before these multi-talented robots go into service, but with the Olympics coming to Tokyo in 2020, this is a prime opportunity to showcase cutting-edge robotic tech for millions of overseas travelers. I, for one, welcome our new robotic overlords. That's it for DT Daily this week. Thanks for watching. We'll be back again on Monday.